Are you adding a new green tree frog to your family? Well, here are a few tips on setting up the terrarium and what to expect after you purchase your green tree frog. As you can see, the green tree, tree frog is just basking in the light on this rock. And when you're getting a tank, I would advise that you get a five to 10 gallon aquarium. This is a five and a half gallon. And you're going to need a light and heat lamp, a water dish that's not too big that you'll drown the frog, so maybe just twice the size, a hiding places, climbing things, just things to sit on, and I would advise that you use a vine, which you can buy at your pet store, or you can use these kinds of plastic leaves, or you can actually buy real plants, but make sure they don't have any bugs on them because that can kill your tree frog. And for the bottom layer, I'd advise that you use tree bark. Not only is it very comfortable for the frog, but it also makes it not messy and it's cheap. You can buy that at your pet store. Now when you're getting a frog, you can get one or you can get more than one. We only have one at the moment, but we are getting more. And the way to check if it's a girl or a boy is by the middle finger. If it's longer than the rest of the fingers, it is a male. And if it's shorter or the same length, it is a female. This is a female tree frog. And I see she's going to go hide in her hiding places or climb. Now tree frogs do love to climb things. So make sure you have a lot of climbing places. And make sure your tank or terrarium has a lid because tree frogs will jump out or climb up, out. And make sure that there aren't any holes in the cage either because tree frogs are very smart frogs. Now, all, most of this goes for many other frogs like Pac-Man frogs or even fire belly toads which need a bit of water, so more than this. Or any other kinds of tree frogs or frogs or toads or newts. Even lizards can go in these kinds of terrariums, but if you're getting any kind of frog, I would advise you use this information. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So good luck on your new green tree frog. Hope it lives long. And remember, keep an eye on it.